five, a Delaware County EMT worker is accused of assaulting a woman while she was being transported in an ambulance. She says she woke up to him taking pictures of her exposed chest. Monday night, the big story on Action News is an alleged invasion of privacy during a medical emergency. The suspect worked for the Brookhaven Fire Company, but officials say he's also been employed in other communities and fears there are more victims out there. Action News reporter Jillian Milley is live in Brookhaven tonight with the details. Jillian. And we are told that that person is no longer employed by the Brookhaven Fire Department. And both the Fire Department and the Police Departments here in Brookhaven are really rattled and shaken by this disturbing incident. These acts betrayed the trust of not only the community we serve, but each and every member of this fire department and our police department. It started here at Med Express on Edgemont Avenue in Brookhaven on Thursday. A woman was experiencing chest pain. She was dizzy and fatigued. She needed to be transported by ambulance to a local hospital. So police say employees here called 911. During the transport, it is alleged that an EMT caring for the victim in the back of the ambulance exposed the victim's breasts and took photographs of her while she was in a semi-conscious state. According to police, that EMT is 24-year-old Kevin Hakeem Presley from Philadelphia. Police say he was employed by the Brookhaven Fire Department since January and was taken into custody on Saturday, charged with indecent assault and invasion of privacy. All the checks and balances you do and, and the, the background checks and all that, it's all in place for a reason, but that's not to say that something or someone can't slip through the cracks. Um, and, and I believe that's what happened in this case. I mean, there were no red flags that I'm aware of. According to the criminal complaint, when investigators asked Presley if they can search his phone for the alleged photos, Presley made a series of disturbing statements, including being involved with illegal firearms purchases. And we all know what the gun violence in, in this country, um, let alone in our backyard in Philadelphia, um, it's concerning. Um, so I can tell you, I can, I can promise you that it's going to be looked into um, and we're going to go down every, every alley we have to. Now, a number of things to note here. ATF says Presley has not been under investigation by them in Philadelphia in the past. I also, in the last few minutes, heard back from the attorney general's office who says there are no open cases involving Presley at this point. I reached out to Presley's attorney by phone who says he has no comment right now. Meantime, police say if there are any other potential victims, they want to hear from you. They want you to call police immediately. Reporting live in Brookhaven, I'm Jillian Mealy, Channel 6 Action News. Shari.